Hey, welcome here. I realized in our kitchen, we're a little low on some of my usual things that I like having. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some food prep and things that I'm making from scratch at home, not just because it's better for ingredients in our bodies, uh, but it's a lot more affordable. Going to the grocery store is getting very expensive, so it's much better to buy your ingredients and a small amount of items there that you can bring at home and create an abundance of things with. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making in today's video. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. I'm starting off with soaking some cashews. So I am not fully dairy free. I still enjoy things like certain cheeses and I can have butter, but a lot of what I can't have when it comes to dairy is things that are creams, milks, yogurts. And to be honest, I'm not crazy about the taste of them either. They taste kind of sour to me. So I like making cashew cream pretty much every single week. This is something I like to prep because I can use it for a variety of things. I'm soaking a bunch of raw cashews and uh, it's in hot water and I'm going to let them sit on the counter, soften up. It's a really easy thing to do at the beginning of the day. And uh, for now, I'm going to move on to some sourdough blueberry bagels. This was one of my most tested recipes that I've ever created. I was tired of making blueberry bagels that were just the color blue or blueberry bagels that just didn't have a really good texture or softness to them. And after much testing, I came to these and the recipe is on my website. The trick is dehydrating your blueberries before you knead them into your already ready dough. This might sound confusing, and if it is, again, the recipe is on my website. But I have been making these blueberry bagels pretty much every single week since I have solidified this recipe, and it has been a joy to enjoy these pretty much on the daily. Next, I'm making muffins. Muffins for us are a must have pretty much every single day. They're an amazing snack. They're an amazing way to make a lunch or breakfast more full. So instead of just giving maybe my kids eggs and bacon, eggs and bacon and a muffin seems a lot more filling to these kids. I also just like how convenient it is to have a muffin on the go. So I'm doing sourdough pumpkin muffins. These will be on my website in a couple weeks. So keep an eye out for those and sign up for my email list and I'll let you know when it comes out. But these are originally called my sourdough pistachio pumpkin muffins. I usually have pistachios in them, which creates a really interesting flavor with the pumpkin. I also use a lot of discard and or active starter in here. And I'm actually out of a good amount of cane sugar while I was making these recipes. So I ended up using maple syrup to sweeten these. And I did not have pistachios, which is lame because I have to say the orange color mixed with the green pistachio is phenomenal, but I didn't have that. So I did pecans instead and that's totally fine. So I also decided because I was on a bit of a time crunch and I wanted to get as much kind of prepping done today as possible, I only chilled my batter for a few hours. I don't recommend this. If you're going to do these, make it the day before, let the batter sit in the fridge, cold ferment for a long time. You're gonna notice your muffins are fluffier, they are more soft, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I am moving on to sourdough oatmeal cookies. These cookies are something that I have been playing and testing the last little bit. I find them to be quite cakey. I want them to be a little bit more buttery. So wait on a recipe for these, but I have dark chocolate chips in these sourdough oatmeal cookies with peanut butter chips. 
This is a really yummy kind of combination. My kids think it's super cool. And um, these I did cold ferment for actually a couple days. I made them a while ago and I put them in the fridge and I was like, okay, whenever I'm ready to do some food prepping here, then I will bake these. And today was obviously the day. Cookies are extremely fun to have around. Uh, they're very similar to muffins, but yeah, maybe a little bit more fun. Um, I have this big tray of goodies that I'm going to send out to my kids. They're playing outside. Cookies, fruit, and I like this about cookies. I like that cookies are easily transportable. I like how delicious they are alongside a black cup of coffee or some tea. And um, who doesn't like a soft cookie constantly throughout the day? So those are baking, now cooling, and I'm moving on to my blueberry bagels. These blueberry bagels can have as many or as little blueberries as you like. I did a little bit um, less than I usually do, I would say, just because of the amount of blueberries I had. I also, when I'm shaping my bagels, if any blueberries start kind of popping out, I'll remove them from kind of the skin of the bagel and push them in further or put them into another bagel that maybe needs some more blueberries. And, um, and I'm gonna let them sit and rise. Next, I'm making ice cream. Ice cream is very fun. It is a treat, but honestly, it's made with local eggs. I also use local whipped cream and whole milk, and I sweeten it with maple syrup. This is good stuff for your kids. So I do two egg yolks. I do two cups of whipping cream. I do one cup of whole milk, and then I do half a cup of maple syrup, a pinch of sea salt, and then any sort of flavoring. I'm doing vanilla bean here. It's so delicious. I do whisk this up and put it into my ice cream machine. I bought an ice cream machine years ago in order to make not just uh, normal dairy ice cream, but even dairy-free ice cream using uh, a variety of plant-based products. That's been very fun, but to be honest, making dairy full ice cream is the best. I'm gonna put it into my uh, frozen bin and turn it on. It's going to start churning it, so I'm going to let it do its thing. And I'm going to move on to my muffins. Again, the longer you can leave these in the fridge, the better. But I'm on a time crunch, and I just want to get this done for the week. I am just using, I think this is like a quarter cup. I'm just going to put however much batter into the cups. I do space them out to help them heat a little more evenly. I did learn that and it does help quite a bit. I'm gonna top them with pecans and bake them. Um, again, usually I would do pistachios for these muffins, but I'm using what I have and pecans it is. While these are baking, I'm checking in on my ice cream and it is looking so good. I am adding some Dutch real chocolate sprinkles. My husband really likes these as well. Some dye free sprinkles. These are fun for the kids. It's crunchy. It looks really cool in the ice cream. And I'm going to move all of this into one of these ice cream containers. I bought these ice cream containers off of Amazon. It came in a pack of four. I can link them down below. They are really pretty. They work so well and they keep my ice cream from getting freezer burn quickly so the colors are also great they come with silicone tops and this is what my ice cream looks like I did give some to my kids that night I may have sneaked some and uh, this is going right into the freezer it's a cheaper way to make ice cream and it has much better ingredients <laughs> I believe therapy can look different for everyone. And for me, it looks like shaping bread, particularly bagels. There is something lovely about shaping blueberry bagels. Um, you just stick your finger in the middle of the bun itself and give it some stretch and some swirl. I just can't get over how fun this is. 
Um, so I'm gonna do that to all the bagels. I'm gonna cover them, let them rise again, and move on to pickling. I really like pickling. It's really simple. It's a great way to add flavor to any meal, and it takes little to no time to do it. I'm gonna pickle some onions, which I've done before, and I have that recipe that I can link down below on my website. I'm also, though, going to pickle some carrots. So if you're new here, welcome my least favorite food is carrots i'm not a carrot person carrots don't do anything for me and to be honest i don't really do anything for them so we just have that mutual relationship but i do believe that pretty much anything tastes good pickled um, and that goes for like i will have pickled eggs pickled herring you pickle it i eat it no questions asked so I've been pickling carrots recently and adding it into our fresh salads. 10 out of 10 recommend. Very, very delicious and delightful. And um, even the kids have been enjoying it too. So into one jar, I'm putting red onion. Into my other, I'm grating carrots and putting carrot into it. I have a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar in each of these jars. And to them, I'm gonna also add two teaspoons of salt two tablespoons of sugar. You can use honey or maple syrup if you prefer. And then I'm gonna to top up the rest with hot water. This is a beautiful pickling solution and I've tested it on a few other things and it has worked beautifully. So this is a fun way to pickle. It really just does take a few minutes. And um, if you've never done pickling before, it's a great way to start. If you wanna also pickle your own pickles, I have that as well on my website and you can check that out and make your own pickles at home. I'm going to move these jars uh, just somewhere out of the way. I want them to cool pretty well before I put a lid on them and put them in the fridge. They'll be pretty much ready to eat next day. My water bath has boiled its water and a little bit of brown sugar. And I'm gonna put my bagels into the water bath and I'm going to let them boil. This is what creates that really nice bagel crust that we all know and enjoy. It's that golden color too. It has a really good chew to it. So that's why I always boil my bagels. You can do baking soda. Is it baking soda or baking powder? If you wanna have a little bit more of like a tang to the bagel, it will kind of be like a pretzel, you could say, but I keep it pretty simple and sweet and just do it with the brown sugar. Once they're all done boiling, I pop them in the oven and they stay there until they are nice and brown. And now, I figure while those are baking, it's about time for me to get to the cashew cream. I pretty much soak the cashews and then I drain them, put it into my food processor or my Vitamix with some filtered water and I just let that go. It can take a while for the cashews to blend down and become a cream. So give yourself some time and patience. You might have to add a little bit of water. You may have to shake it up a bit, but again, be patient. The longer it sits, the creamier it gets. And it is a beautiful uh, cream that is dairy free and amazing in soups, pasta sauces. Um, I also do it in just salad dressings and regular uh, creamy mixes. So I'm gonna put some of this into a bowl to make into something a little bit more flavorful. And then the rest I'm actually going to use in a tiki masala, which usually calls for a heavy cream, but I'm gonna use cashew cream instead. Because cashews have a very neutral taste, you can add lots of different flavor to them and to it, and it doesn't overpower it or become weird. You're not mixing flavors that shouldn't be mixed. It's a very welcoming flavor that is asking for flavor. So I do lemon juice and sea salt, parsley, garlic, garlic powder, smoked paprika, some cilantro, some fermented black garlic. I'm gonna add all this to my cashew cream 
and what this is becoming is um, an olive oil step away from being a salad dressing by simply adding olive oil maybe avocado oil or even just some water or chicken broth i can dilute this a little bit and it becomes a really beautiful creamy salad dressing you can also use this to marinate chicken or potatoes it is very good i go through this quite quickly it's good for veggie dip too believe it or not and I find that it keeps in the fridge for a couple weeks, which I think is pretty good. And to finish off, my pickled things. So I'm just gonna put my lids on top. I can link these lids down below. They are seriously really cute and so durable and awesome. I'm gonna pop these in the fridge and they'll be ready for us to enjoy tomorrow. Thank you guys for being here and watching today's video and hanging out with me while I prep some food for my family. Let me know what you think in the comment down below. I'm feeling pretty good about balancing this and nothing has fallen me yet. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, and check out my recipe website. It's linked down below. Bye.